Hi, I'm Joanne Liu reporting from Bangkok. Joining me is Munav Kumar, the Vice Chairman of the IADC Southeast Asia Chapter, along with Gran Buchan, the Secretary Treasurer. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Joanne, for having us here. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. So tell me a little bit more about the chapter. What kind of contribution and value can it bring to this region? Well, Southeast Asia is a very vibrant chapter. There are many countries involved, um, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam. And each country, they have their own uh, national oil companies as well as the major uh, oil companies present. Uh, and we are here to, to make the chapter more vibrant, uh, have the members join in together and raise the issues, the concerns that they have about any particular uh, challenges in their own country or the the sector as a whole, the drilling industry as a whole, and to increase the awareness and our safety standards in the industry. I think just to add to, uh, to that as well, we would just like to understand what the drilling contractors do require and what we can achieve by them joining the IEDC. Um, you know, then we can, we can then expand our, our, our sort of knowledge and expertise further outwards, basically. Um, in regards to that, as I say, I mean, we can then expand it out to the service providers. Um, but, but again, I think we just need to understand what people require of the IEDC Southeast Asia chapter. And bringing up another point, you mentioned the service providers. What can service companies and drilling contractors, as you represent, um, what can they gain from membership? I think from a service provider who I work for, basically, I believe there's a lot of opportunities, you know, from the drilling contractors and from the IEDC, you know, especially understanding the needs. It's all very well us going out and saying, yeah, we can offer this, we can offer that. But I think we've got to listen, first of all, and then taper the needs of both the rig owners and the IOCs and NOCs together. You know, from a service provider, then we can understand their overall needs and then provide a solution to that. And I think that's extremely important that we understand that from the word go. There's no point in offering a service which may not meet their needs. We've got to understand what the needs are firstly and then taper the services back to that needs. Well, IADC, as you know, Joanne, is a 74 years old institution. It's, it's been a very, very effective uh, institution for drilling contractors around the world. So our members get to have the knowledge about uh, the best uh, drilling practices around the world. Um, so the new members who join in, whether the drilling contractors or the service providers, will have the network uh, with them to sort of support them in uh, various areas of their need. Uh, for instance, Dynamic Drilling, the company that I represent, is uh, now looking to expand into Southeast Asia for uh, drilling business for uh, jackups and semi-submersibles uh, and uh, drilling that we do uh, currently in India. And we are looking forward to address the requirements and needs of uh, the IOCs and NOCs which are present here and uh, work effectively with them. If I could just add to that, as I came from the UK NLC chapter, I've been NLC chapter, uh, and I gained a lot of information, a lot of knowledge by joining the IEDC in the North Sea chapter when I worked in Aberdeen. And what we're hoping to do is to take that information as well back into the Asia Pac Southeast chapter and utilize what we've got already in place. We don't want to reinvent the wheel. We just need to understand what we can do and basically for, so I take from that basically. Well, Graham, Manoff, thanks so much for joining me and we look forward to your work with the chapter. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. Many thanks. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.